So good morning and welcome to worship at St. Gregory's Church, to our Facebook friends, and to all who are joining us on Zoom. We're glad you're here. Uh, it is Trinity Sunday, so we will be worshiping together on Trinity Sunday. Um, we're glad you're here. If you are here joining us on Facebook this morning, let us know you're here in the chat so that we can say hi. Um, also, the chat feature is available to our Zoom and to our Facebook participants. So when we have prayers, there are specific sections for you to put in prayers for those very specific prayer intents. Uh, so we hope that you will share those and those will be voiced aloud for you. And as always, the bolded words uh, in the worship are yours. So even though uh, we aren't all saying them at the same time that we can hear because it becomes cacophonous uh, on Zoom, when we do that, uh, do say them along. Allison Applebaum will be voicing our words for us aloud, but we can join them at home. And the great news is we can also sing along at home, which is super fun. This morning is Trinity Sunday, and we will be doing a morning prayer this morning. As always, our CCLI license is listed for all of the music that we are playing, so we are sharing them under a license. Dan Nicholas is our worship leader this morning. So beloved, let us begin our worship. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the, and Holy, to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Come, let us adore him. Please read along at home the Jubilate, Psalm 100. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lambs. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Come, Come let, us let us adore him. <clears throat> Glory to you. Between us, 
As the children read our story, um, I'll invite all of you to say along the loud sounds that come. Allison will voice them for us, but we will say them together at home. Matthew's supposed to read this. I don't think yeah. Matthew's here, so I will read his part. Do you, are you have Nessa to read it? Please, that would be wonderful. Okay. okay. Before God created the world, there was nothing at all except God. On the first day of creation, the wind of God blew. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. God said, let there be light. Crackle, boom, bang. There was light. God saw that the light was good. Then sleep, God divided the light and darkness into day and night. Keep reading. On the second day, God said, let there be sky. Pillow, billow, puff. There was sky. God saw that the sky was good. And, and now you have to read Arias. On the third day, God said, let there be water and dry land. Trip, trip, kaplunk. There was water. Crackle, crunch, snap. There was dry land. God saw that the water and land were good. Then God said, let there be plants and trees. Wumble, whistle, pop. There was plants and trees. God saw that the plants and trees were good. On the fourth day, God said, let there be sun and moon and stars. Glimmer, shimmer, shine. There was a there was a sun and a moon and thousands of stars. God saw that the sun and moon, the sun and the moon and stars were good. On the fifth day, God said, let there be sea animals that sw swim and birds that fly. Wiggle, splish, splash. There were sea animals. Flutter, patter, tweet. There were birds. God saw that the sea animals and birds were good. On the sixth day, God said, let there be animals of every, uh, uh, be animals of every kind on the earth. Grow, prowl, snort. There was animals with fur, skitter, scatter, creep. There were bugs, slither, Sil slink, hop, there were reptiles. God saw that the animals and bugs and reptiles were good. Then God said, let there be people on the earth. Blink, wink, hiccup. <laughs> there were people on the earth. God, God saw that the people were very good. On the seventh day, God said, it is time to rest. Woo! Ah, God and all of creation rested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.
from the second letter to the Corinthians. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Canticle 19, the song of the redeemed from Revelation chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they, that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are always of righteousness and truth, O King of all ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember... I am with you always to the end of the age. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sometime in November or December, nobody really knows exactly when, an ordinary working guy, some tecton in central China, went to town to the local market and bought some game meat that turned out to be funny. Three months later, the world's economy was shattered. Three months after that, 100,000 Americans, all the way on the other side of the world, were dead. And more and more people all over the globe, from Canada to Cameroon to Cambodia, are being infected and dying every day. 
13 days ago, four cops were following up on a report of a possible forgery. The guy might have passed a fake $20 bill at a mom and pop grocery in Minneapolis. It seems dude was drunk and gave the cops a hard time. Intoxicated people are known to do that. One of the officers put him on the ground, even though he was cuffed and had been for several minutes. And he held him there. And he held him there. And he held him there, knee on his neck, until he suffocated him to death. The following evening, the nation was on fire. Every city in the country and half the world had exploded in pent up rage and opportunistic violence. Today is the first Sunday after Pentecost the day in which the church celebrates the central theological concept known as the Trinity, the notion that God is one, which is the essential, essential tenet of all the Abrahamic religions, but also, and nonetheless, that God is three. As the Creed of St. Athanasius has it, we worship one God in Trinity and Trinity in unity neither confounding the persons nor dividing the substance. For there is one person of the Father, another of the Son, and another of the Holy Ghost. But the Godhead of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost is all one, the glory equal, the majesty co-eternal. What does all that mean? What does any of that mean? It means that we Christians spent the first couple of hundred years of our existence trying to make sense of our, of our experience with the dying and rising Christ, coupled with our understanding of the eternal and our contemplation of the immediate. And we made sense out of it by figuring that though God is one, God is not a monolith, that the divine is complex and nuanced that God cannot be restrained by the limitations of description. The divine can only be adored by the liberation of experience. And in that way, God is just like you and me and any other person we might ever meet, complex and nuanced. But also, and nonetheless, God is as different from you and me as any one of us is different from a coronavirus. It means that the persons of God, the person who is like a parent, the person who is like a child, and the person who is like a wind, like wisdom, that these persons are absolutely distinct from one another and yet are not in any sense separate from one another for they are absolutely connected to one another. They are as connected as the heart is connected to the blood, as air to the lungs, as a woman is connected to her infant about to be born. And just like that mother, every minute of every day, God groans in the hope and expectation of birth. And just like that about to be infant, every moment of every day, God and we are a new world struggling to be born. It means that like us, God is made out of relationship. Like us, God is made out of love. It means that when at the beginning of time, when God made you and me and everyone else, all of us and each of us and every one of us in his image, in the image of God, he created them male and female, he created them, that we persons are absolutely distinct from one another and yet are not in any sense separate from one another, for we are absolutely connected to one another. And therefore, if there is a Chinese tecton who can't buy food in the market that is reliably safe from contaminants, there is not a person on this earth who is safe. And therefore, 
if there is an old man who can't fail to snap to when someone barks orders at him without having his head smashed to the pavement at a rally in Buffalo, then there is not a person in this country who is free. And therefore, if it is not permitted that those who are victimized by injustice rage against the injustice of the racist structures of society without themselves committing injustices against property owners, then injustices will be committed against property owners from time to time. And therefore, we who are followers of Christ and are children of the light, we can no longer afford the luxury of the lie that what befalls any person is of no consequence. We can no longer believe the fiction that what happens to the other guy does not matter to you. That any man's death does not diminish me because I am not involved in mankind. Sometime in the fourth century or so, not long after the doctrine of the Trinity was formulated, the Roman philosopher Vegetius said, if you want peace, prepare for war. That is a lie. Peace and war are opposites. They have nothing whatsoever to do with one another. But late in the last century, the Roman bishop, Paul VI, said, if you want peace, work for justice. That is a truth. That is a truth because justice and peace are joined with one another. As the Hebrew scriptures are joined with the letters of Paul, as the pronouncements of Moses are joined to the parables of Jesus, they are absolutely distinct from one another and yet they are not in any real sense separate from one another, for they are absolutely connected to one another. Just like you, and me, and them. Just like us, just like God. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of us. Amen. The Apostles' Creed, please read along at home. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again and judge to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory 
forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A, please respond aloud at home. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given to us, your servants, grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see you in your one and eternal glory, O Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all those in the medical professions, for scientists, first responders, and all those working to cure COVID-19. Let us pray especially for the leadership, the occupational therapy, and the physical therapy, and employee health at Glenbrook Hospital, as well as for Amy Call, Deanna Behrens, Mary Rogers, Julian Nelson, and Harrison. For whom else should we pray? Our prayers have been asked for Mimi, for Dr. Marcy Kamen, for Robin in Grays Lake, for Glenda Matthews, for Tracy, Joanne, Emma, and Meredith. For Tim at Rush Hospital. For Sarah and Tim. For Maureen and Claire Conroy, who are nurses working in with COVID patients in hospitals in Chicago. Our prayers have been asked for Ada. For all these named and unnamed, let us pray. Our prayers have been asked for the deceased. For whom should we pray? For Catherine's mom, Betsy, for Brianna Taylor, for Martha Jennings, for Lisa Towers, for Margaret Mapson, for George Floyd. For Jose. For Armand Aubrey, for Emery, for Gloria Tavares, for Enid. For all these named and unnamed, let us pray.
Let us offer prayers of lament, praying for things and people who, for whom we are feeling the loss, for what and for whom we grieve. For whom shall we pray? Let us pray for Ruth, for those who are without health care, for all in, for all at the Cypress in South Carolina, and special prayers for Mickey, for Anne, who is going to be furloughed, for all of our own insensitivities. For Merida, for Darius and all children at risk. For educators and their students at all grade levels. For the, those who are living with food insecurity, and especially in places where there is where support is not readily available. For children who miss school and who miss their friends. for the recent graduates, for all the unemployed and their families. We lament hugs and not being able to give them and not being able to receive them. We pray for essential workers and small business owners consumed with anger at how the pandemic has brought out the worst in their families and customers. For those who are lonely during this time. For Michelle. For businesses who have lost everything due to the pandemic and the civil disturbances. For Jill and, Olivia's, Jill and Olivia's cousins who will not be able to re reopen their restaurants in St. Louis. For Rob. For all these losses named and unnamed, let us pray. I ask your prayers and thanksgivings of joy and hope for things and people that shine God's light to us. For whom and for what should we pray? <laughs> Our prayers have been asked for peonies and for those who deliver them. For the birth of Taylor Anya Hockman, for family and friends, for Eileen who makes us laugh and that she may heal after her fall, for Bob on the occasion of his birthday on Wednesday, for the healing of Juvenile, who is recovering from COVID-19. For, for grandchildren and how delightful they are. And for a good report for John. For Robin on his birthday. For Caden Sunthornsima on his birthday. For Leo, the 12 week old kitten adopted yesterday. For Lenny, for Evan on his fourth birthday and for his great grandmother, <laughs> for dad jokes, for Mark and Sarah, Chris's infusion nurses who bring joy and laughter in the face of suffering, for Aria's and her and her birthday today. For seeing people we love when we go out and about. 
for Laura Lee and Art on the occasion of their anniversary and for Caroline. For Scott Hamilton on the occasion of his birthday on Thursday. For Maura's new, newest grandchild and her chance to help her son and daughter-in-law. For the staff of St. Gregory's, their unfailing faith, creativity, and persistence. We pray that something positive and lasting may come from the protests. Oh, Lord, let it be so. We pray Thanksgiving that the majority of protests and marchers, marches and rallies have become peaceful and for the unity we are seeing in them. We pray gratitude for hope and of change. We pray gratefulness for Sloan who brings great joy and for glorious works, worship and for Matt and Mary on the occasion of their 16th anniversary. For Bobby and for her doctors at Mayo as they replace her knee this week at the Mayo Clinic. For technology that when it works, it allows us to be together even when we are apart. For what else are we grateful? We pray in gratitude for our families, nuclear and extended. We are grateful for Zoom. Sorry. For all these things, named and unnamed, let us pray. In union, blessed Jesus, with the faithful gathered at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are offered this day, I long to offer praise and thanksgiving for creation and the blessings of this life, the redemption won for us by your life, death, and resurrection, for the means of grace and the hope of glory. I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament. And since I cannot at this time receive communion, I pray you to come into my heart. I unite myself with you and embrace you with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. Let nothing separate me from you. Let me serve you in this life until, by your grace, I come to your glorious kingdom and unending peace. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. So we do have some things happening this week that are worth mentioning and worth participating in. The first is that we will be having a movie discussion where movies discussions are growing and I understand are very smart and fun to participate in this week on Tuesday. Uh, Max and the group will be discussing the age of 
Adeline, which is a fantastic movie. Uh, it can be found for free in lots of places. So I encourage you to watch that and join them on Tuesday at 7 p.m. to participate in the film discussion. Also, Shelly Burns, do you want to unmute and tell us about the talent show? We are having a talent show. Um, it's very, very exciting. We want people of all ages to join and we want all different kinds of talents. Um, so if you have a really wonderful talent that everybody's gonna go, oh my gosh, I can't believe they were so great at that. That's one of the things that we wanna do. And then you can do something as crazy as I'm going to do as dance with my dog. So um, silly pet tricks will work. Um, cartwheels will work if you have a talent that cannot be actually shown because it takes too long, like painting or quilting or knitting or something like that. You're welcome to show us a product of your talent and explain a little bit about the different types of things that went into creating that thing. So it can be almost anything. Uh, please, what you need to do is videotape it videotape your presentation, and then um, put it onto a Google Drive and share that Google Drive with Casey. And she is gonna put it all together and we are going to have an MC and uh, we will present it. I've been sort of waiting to schedule the date until we knew we had enough people participating to actually make the whole thing go. But we are we have at least five entrants right now. So yay, keep joining everybody. And we want people of all ages to do whatever they're gonna do. Um, even if you just have um, an animal that does something silly, please uh, send that in. It's going to be, I think, in the last week of June that we're gonna do this. And if we get too many people, we're gonna do another one in July. So I'd like to sort of maybe do this once a month to be something that brings us together for fun um, over the summer while everybody's you know, staying safe and doing that type of stuff. So send it in to uh, Casey and we'll go from there. Awesome. Can I pat my head and rub my tummy? Is that yes, absolutely my greatest talent? I, think. I can't do that. It does not have to be a long presentation. You can do send something in that is, you know, 15 to 30 seconds long. Um, or you can do something that is, if you have a talent that, you know, show off, baby, do something like that too. So Thanks, Shelly. Also, I see in the chat that what we had in the newsletter and what I found on the website were wrong. So communication in some way, shape or form, sorry, it's The Help, which is also a super excellent movie. Don't eat the pie. We're gonna do two weeks. Okay, so there you have it. Um, friends, don't forget to stay after worship. Oops, sorry, don't forget to stay after worship. If you are here on Zoom, we will be having virtual coffee hour, bring your own coffee. Uh, and next Sunday on Zoom, we will be having Care Circle Coffee Hour. So our Care Circles will Coffee Hour again. We did that about a month ago, and we're going to do it uh, the second Sunday of every month now will be Care Circle Coffee Hour. So we'll be grouping people in their care circles, which will be fun. So join us for that uh, next Sunday. And thank you, as always, for giving to God's work at St. Gregory's. You can still mail checks to the church, and you can donate online right now if you want to by going to stgregoryschurch.org and donating online. We are grateful for all that all of you do to enable us to continue to minister to God and God's people. And now, beloved, let's have the Trinity. Oh, Shelly's like waving her hand back and forth. <laughs> are we doing... Um the other announcement now or right after this oh good so we're going to only on zoom we're going to play a video about the graduates i was going to wait until the blessing Got it. Uh, so so beloved may the lord bless you and keep you amen may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you amen may the lord lift up god's countenance upon you and give you peace amen and may the Lord God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the holy and undivided Trinity, guard your heart, save your soul, and bring you to that heavenly city where God lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
sun shall rise to User error, I apologize. The whole thing will be on Facebook later. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us for worship today. Those of you on Zoom stay because we do have a fantastic video about our graduates. Those who have joined us on Facebook, thank you for being here. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next week.